right at the very start of White Light, um, the company that I work for was Theatre Sound and Lighting, which was a competitor. They were always very fair and they were always very good. And actually what they did was they kind of raised the standard of the rest of us. So they were the ones to be. I mean, John himself was was kind of the figurehead which we all look to. Uh, we sell Theatre Sound and Lighting, TSL, into White Light. So then I became an employee of White Light. But the highlight for me was working with the best of the business. Just being involved um, in all the major productions that were going out the door at the time when we were there. And anybody that worked in Film Road would know it was like a little warren of bits and pieces and, and offices and then porter cabins. George was was working for White Light back then, who used to look after everything. I always thought of him as the sort of you know, colour sergeant. He just made sure all of us behaved ourselves. But George had his way of doing things. And just that, if you had to come from the main block, the office block, over to the warehouse, you had to come through the shop. But just outside the front of the shop, um, there was a step down, but there was also a manhole cover because the gents, there was a gents right next door. And George, for some reason, <laughs> this day, had decided to either rod out the drains or do something, but the manhole cover was off. Someone who will remain nameless was belting back, having gone out to the warehouse one way. Um, in that space of time, George lifted up the manhole cover, put it to one side. He then came flying back without looking. He had been gone quite a bit of time, and and all of a sudden we thought, where where is he? And the next thing we saw was this guy walk in absolutely covered <laughs> and he'd just gone straight down the manhole cover. gone straight down how he'd done it i don't know which of course george didn't see as his fault at all he just thought you know that was our fault for not paying attention you could replace the equipment but it's the people it's the service it's the attitude it's the culture the way that they look after freelancers as well as their own staff that sort of stuff apprenticeship you know all the stuff that has been going on with apprentices you know, helping people in the industry. It happens and it happens quietly in the background, but it, you know, there's not a lot of other companies doing it. Fun, fun, good fun.